This video is proudly sponsored by Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. Tokyo Tree is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You will get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavor Japanese snacks. This month's theme is Okinawa Snacking Oasis. This month, Tokyo Tree invites us to get a taste of island life thanks to the sweet and savory snacks like Kit Kat cookies and cream, Okinawa sea salt donut, Ariel sour cream, and onion chips that were my top two but not two, Okinawa style ramen, and Chikuwasa soda. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box. Sakurako is supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. This month's theme is Festival of Tohoku. Known for its lively and colorful festivals, Tohoku offers a captivating of culture and tradition. This month, Sakurako invites all of us to indulge in authentic and savory flavors that captures the essence of this enchanting region. In this month's box, I got to enjoy some more sweet and savory snacks like peach konjac jelly, walnut mochi, and peanut tembe cookie, which were my top three favorite snacks. Some of you guys already know that I'm always excited whenever I see these food boxes at my doorstep. Now, if you want to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home or for your loved ones, you can use my code NANANAJI for some money off on your box. As always, thank you once again, Tokyo Tree and Sakurako, for sponsoring this video. Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful life, of course. In today's video, I'm going to unbox my very first Tamagotchi, the Tamagotchi Uni. Now, I always wanted the OG Tamagotchi growing up, but each and every time, my parents would tell me no, which was actually a good choice because RRPs would be a daily occurrence. I bought this from Amazon since it goes for $13 less than the MSRP, and I also decided to get another one from a brother and sister. Just like many others, I'm not really a fan of the packaging in states it's just too much plastic for no good reason unlike the packaging from japan so i know i'm kind of late to the uni game since this was released july of last year i actually wanted the one piece tamagotchi smart when it was first released but i wasn't a big fan of the touchscreen, so i just gave it up what made me really want to give this a try was the fact that one it was in color and two it charges via a USB-C cable and the extra cool features i'll be showing y'all later it's kind of a chunky gadget if you wear it as a watch but honestly i don't think a lot of uni owners are wearing them as a watch anyways because it's not necessarily comfortable and it's kind of hard to play certain mini games. Now I bought a few accessories from Amazon and Aliexpress. Even though this video is almost a month old, I only recorded myself opening a few of them. If you decide to buy some extra watch bands, lanyards, or stickers, they each come with a code that you can put in to receive an item. So I tried to open up the uni but couldn't because the screws are easy to strip so I only ended up changing the faceplate for each of the unis. To open it you can either use hot glue gun sticks or use this little suction cup. You just have to pull with force and insert some type of thick card in the corner and that's it. This is how I ended up decorating my uni. The Sailor Moon thing was kind of a coincidence but I'm not even mad because it turned out really cute. My first Tama was Mimichi herself and her personality was playful so she always spent her day flipping and doing tricks. Now each Tamagotchi won't get the same personality so keep that in mind. I forgot to mention earlier that another reason I decided to give this a try versus the other Tamas because this one isn't as demanding and needy and it allows us to leave it with a babysitter from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. at no extra cost for those of us with a busy schedule or you just don't want to be bothered that much throughout the day. As a newbie it was pretty easy to navigate the home screen and the extra little features it offers us like ordering food to be delivered. If you're new to all things Tama the way to keep them from being unhappy and starving is by of course feeding them and by allowing them to play with different items, going on walks, playing with friends, visiting the Tamaverse, and dressing them up with accessories which for some reason only gives us a limited slot. So keep that in mind when you're out shopping for new accessories or when new free drops are released. I almost forgot to talk about something important which is the battery life on this thing. I've only gotten as far as two days until I need to recharge it again and that's with me interacting with it maybe five to six times in a day. Make sure to only use the charger cable and a cable box with five volts or you will fry your device over time. Thank you. 
So the Timeverse is something new and exclusive to the Unis. You need Wi-Fi to access it, which is something you'll have to connect once you set it up. You get to meet Tamagotchi characters from all around the world, enter events, and go on shopping sprees. There's also a Timeverse ticket shop where you can purchase DLCs that gives you extra content like food, snacks, items, accessories, characters, and an extra minigame. Very Berry Land is the only free one at the moment, but others like the Tamori Fashion Show, Love Melo Concert, and the new Sanrio Angel Festival and Monster Carnival go for $6 each. The shells are going to be available in July, but you don't need to buy another uni if you already have one thanks to these tickets. So I bought this beautiful blue uni from japanyouwant.com since it's always sold out here in the states. My little sis is kind of obsessed with anything cinema roll, so I decided to decorate it with that in mind. The case and patch were found on AliExpress and it definitely fits without the lanyard and charm, FYI. Now here's my brother's. He actually ended up with a black cover which matched the Demon Slayer lanyard better. I also added a random decal skin I had lying around because he's not a big fan of the pink color. Not gonna lie, I've been having a lot of fun crafting with my siblings and even marrying them off with their Tamagooch. Since this recording, I done raised about 6 Tamagooch but my brother is low-key treating them like Pokemons and trying to be rich so to my surprise, he really likes it. I also bought another watch band for my sister in the white color. Again, we're not a big fan of wearing the unis as watches but it's mad cute with the blue uni. I'm actually gearing up to do more content on other tamagotchis and virtual pets as a whole so stay tuned for that that's gonna be all for this video thank you guys so much for watching another cozyish unboxing with me please stay safe and take care of yourselves see you on the next one deuces